hello everybody and welcome in this video in this video we are going to talk about cards and buttons so as you can see i created a project and it is empty nothing is uh, actually inside of this let's go and work on our card widget so in here after our app bar inside our scaffold we can use our body property inside our body uh, we can use our card inside the body we can put other widgets so let's work on card inside a card uh, i want to put a child of text widget and hello flutter okay let's save it now we have our card at the top left corner of our app and how to bring it to the center by wrapping our card widget with the center widget and let's save it now our card came to the center let's give a color to our card by using colors colors dot we can put amber color let's save it now we have an amber color to our card so let's add text widget inside a column by going to wrap our column to our widget our text widget to a column and controls asset and also we can give up a minimum size to our column by using main axis size main axis size dot minimum it will take the minimum space as it as it can so uh, let's give uh, some space on our text uh, let's wrap our column with a padding by wrap with a padding uh, we can give edge in sets of 100 and let's save it now we have our card and our text so let's add some more properties to our card like we can give it a shadow color by going inside the card and using a shade shadow color we can give any color we want colors dot dot blue let's save it now we give the shadow color but is not showing much let's give our card an evolution to give it a more shadow evolution of 10.0 let's save it and now we have more shadow around our card so as we want to increase the shadow to 20 and we have a 20 unit of shadow on our card so we can also change our uh, shadow color to for example red let's save it now we can see that the shadow color also change so let's give our card a little radius by going inside our card and use another property of shape shape text rounded rectangle border so we can choose the rounded rectangle border and inside this the border radius takes border radius border radius sorry the border radius take border radius dot circular we can give it a number like we can give 20.0 and let's save it and now we can see our card shape has changed and it got a circular radius so let's change it to 50 to see more changes and now um, we can see the changes applied to our card so how we can give a, a border to our card so let's remove our border radius and on the shape we can add a border dot all and inside this we can use uh, we can give a color to our border colors dot red can give any color so after that we can uh, set the thickness of our border by using the width of for example 10.0 and we can give comma here and let's save it now we can see that our card has a border now we can use an other number like give it a five unit or maybe two unit any size of border you want you can give to your card and also you can uh, give another property of margin that we use it before on our container widget so you can use it yourself and also we can add a picture to our card how we can add it after the text widget we can add 
flutter logo we can give a size to this size of 100.0 and 7 and now we can see that uh, we have a flutter logo below our text also we can add a padding to flutter logo or a text or to the text that it gets a little space uh, between the image so let's wrap our text with padding widget and give it a 20 pixel padding and let's save it and now we have a little padding to our text so this is it guys for the card let's go and work on button so guys when we are talking about buttons in flutter one there was a button called flat button it changed to a text button and another button which we called previously raised button it changed to elevated button and the last one which was a outline button in flatter one in flatter two it become outlined button so let's implement the first one which is text button by typing text child text button and inside we can use style text button style text button dot style form inside we can add our style on our button so before adding a style we can give it a text of child text click me and let's save it for now we have our click me button a text button in here and we can give it a style like we can add a color to our button by typing primary color dot umber for example and save it so now we have our click me text button here let's add a on click listener on this button every button should has a click listener in here we can add on press we have on press and also on long press first one on press when we press on this button what do you want to happen for now we are going to print a sh short press and also we can add on long press when we long press we can print that long press so let's test it in our console uh, i just create on press and on long press on our text button and also i wrap our text widget to a column and let's mm, give it a main axis alignment center main axis alignment dot center let's save it give it a comma don't forget this comma and now we have our text button at the center uh, now if i press on our text button now we can get our short press and if i long press we have our long press so what else we can do we can change the style of our button like we can give a background color also to this how we can do that inside this button we can create style text button style text button dot style form inside we can add a uh, like uh, background color colors dot red and now we can save it now we have our background color red you can change to any if you want for example we can change it to yellow in the text button let's see what we what else we can do with our text button we can also add another property which is primary color we can change it to primary colors dot red accent and put a comma here save it okay put a comma here also and set and now we can see that the, the click me color has been changed so let's go and apply another button which is the elevated button inside the children we can type elevated button and it take on press every button should have on press and we can also add on long press to this one as well for now we add on press and child of text with elevated button elevated button so we can save it now we can see our elevated button also come to the screen so how we can bring any other changes to this in elevated button also we can bring uh, changes like giving it a style how we can give it a style uh, after putting a comma here and we can give in here can type style elevated button dot style form inside the style form as we work on a text button 
and here also we can put a background color we call it a background color uh, in here when we call on primary we can set the background color to this colors colors dot red let's save and now we can see that in our elevated button also we can use the colors the primary color and also on primary uh, we don't use the background color here and if we want to change the background color we use primary in primary in here changing the background uh, colors dot for example red let's save it now we can see the background button change to red and so we can add foreground color by typing on primary on primary color dot loop add a comma here and set and now we have a blue color uh, foreground color for our elevated button uh, and also i want to change the primary color to blue and this one we can change it to white let's save it we have our elevated button with a blue background and a white foreground what else we can add we add on pressed and also we add on long press long press also we can pause the function to this print elevated button elevated short press and inside long press we can tell it elevated long press. let's save and let's check it when i press when i use short press when i click on that elevated button it tells elevated short press when i long press it will tell us long press okay let's go what else we can do with our buttons uh, let's see how we can add icon on our button so for the first one we go to the text button so when we want to have an icon on our button let's go on our text button we don't need any more this all things uh, when we type button we can give a dot it will give us icon this also takes on press we can pass a function to this and also it has icon that we can pass an icon and also instead of child text it has a label inside the label we can put our text here click me click me too and we can put comma here and also we can add icons icons dot add for example let's save it now you can see that our text button now has an icon in front of this and the name which we put inside the label so let's put a comma here that it could arrange itself and remove also the number and you can choose any icon you want for example i choose the face let's save and now we have a face icon on our text text button so also you can uh, set the same on press and on pressed on this so and also we can change our background color and foreground color the same as previous by calling the style and text button dot style form in here you can change like the background color to red dot red let's save it now we change our background color to red the same you can use the icon to elevated button and outline button also the style form to bring more changes to any of your your buttons uh, to your to any of button widgets so and guys uh, we can change also uh, the shadow and shadow color to our uh, buttons also as we use on the card uh, you can practice it yourself to see uh, i change it to yellow and inside this style form you can bring any changes to your buttons like you can give minimum size and you can give a color shadow like color shadow colors dot red and let's see we can for now we cannot see because we don't add elevation to this also we can add an elevation like uh, can put here elevation of 5.0 and let's save and now we can see that it has a shadow a shadow color of red so you can add also the same to the elevated button and outline button and also guys uh, you can add uh, the border radius for any of your buttons also as they work on 
in the cart so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you learned something from uh, this video regarding to the card and button thank you and see you in the next video